Hi, I'm Chris. Hi, I'm Lauren. And we are from the York School of Defence. We teach a variety of historical European martial arts, but one of our main training focuses is historical wrestling. Five hundred years ago, King Henry VIII of England and King Francis I of France met to celebrate peace between their nations. A close companion of Francis I, a gentleman known as Robert de la Marque, recorded a brief account of the two kings getting into a small wrestling match, perhaps after having had a little bit too much to drink. Robert de la Marque's account talks of how Henry VIII grasped Francis I around the neck and expressed his desire to wrestle. King Henry allegedly attended a number of holds on King Francis, and the King of France responded with what is referred to as the Breton Twist. During the period in which the Field of the Cloth of Gold was taking place, Breton wrestlers from the Brittany region of France were considered to be some of the best in Europe. Unfortunately, there are no surviving 15th and 16th century texts that tell us precisely what the Breton twist actually is, so we have used other sources from the same period and have put together our own interpretation of how this snippet of wrestling history may have potentially played out. So in this scenario, I'll be taking the role of King Henry VIII of England and Laura will be taking the role of King Francis I of France. And we're going to run through just a few of the moves and holds that may have been used in the infamous Little Wrestling Battle. So we're told that Henry takes control of Francis's head. Now obviously we're going to assume that Francis did not like this and tried to escape, at which case Henry would redouble his efforts by taking control not just of the head, but also of the arm, and by wrapping his leg around Francis's leg. Now he has good control of his opponent. Now there is a relatively simple way, one of many, that Francis can try to break out of this hold. Francis would just have to stand up straight. And by standing up straight, Francis regains his balance and it becomes very difficult for me to do many, many things from here. However, if I step through, I can complete a relatively simple throw. Of course, Francis is not going to stand for this, and once again he's going to try to regain his balance. All Francis would have to do is widen his legs and lower his centre of gravity. And obviously from this position, no matter how hard I try, I can't execute the throw. So I need to move to a different position to attempt something else. I step through, I lift the leg, and I drive. Now if we return to this position, Obviously, Francis is going to have to find a way to reverse things. So, all Francis would do, grab the arm, push it up and out of the way, turn himself around, and throw. Now, if we return to this position, again, as Francis begins to turn to counter the technique, all Henry has to do is duck under the arm, square his body, and take the back other side. And from here, lift and throw. However, where does the break on twist come in? If we return to this position, I'm about to lift Francis up, but there's an easy way for Francis to finish this. And this is our interpretation of what may be the Breton twist. That is our interpretation of how the infamous little wrestling bout may have gone. If you have thoughts or comments, please subscribe and add to the comments section below. There is lots more content about Tudor power and boring across the Royal Armory's social media channels. Thank you very much.